welcome. It's chilly cube and I'm here on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia, coming to you with... I'm going to try something different. This is a 60 centimetre, a really nice wide um, pine board I got from a Bunnings homeware store in Australia and I'm going to make it into a tabletop. But then I've seen these um, decor and furniture paint chips at my local Kmart store. Uh, under $10, I think they were really cheap. And some of the Kmart, oh, what's it called? Decor and furniture paint, mineral finish white. So I thought, why not try the cheap alternatives for people that want to do um, home decor on a budget because I'm willing to try anything so of course I'm going to give it my own spin so I kind of want to make like it to look like a terrazzo tabletop and when it's all finished and dry then I'll give it a resin coat so it's really durable so in the meantime I'll show you how I'm going to prepare this I'm going to pour some of this paint into the container because I do want to add some just flow troll to make it a little bit easier to pour because I'm going to actually do a um, what you call it I'm gonna I'll show you as I go along best best isn't it I'm trying to get way ahead of myself so I've poured some in there I've got some of the flow troll which is actually a paint um, conditioner and extends and it's a paint extender and uh, it keeps flowing helps your paint flow in hot windy weather improves coverage hiding imperfections blah 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 but of course it's it's better known to, goodness it's better known for uh, creating cells in acrylic art I guess so I'm gonna pour into there and then I will give it a good stir I might need more than what I'm using here but we will see so I'll give that a good stir I'm gonna leave that aside a second because I just want to explain how I prepared these pine boards are kind of laminated pieces of pine and lots of people have said that they've used them and they've warped well I find if I resin them they don't warp at all hence I did a, a little this was an MDF board that I did a little resin plaque for my son's um, name plaque and number for his house which I'll resin on the back so it's completely waterproof but they certainly don't walk if they're resined so this one what I did to prepare it on both sides I just give it a very thin coat of clear varnish both sides I just clear varnished and now I've left it fully dry so that actually stops it from warping at all so just to be safe to be sure to be sure it's got um, that clear varnish bean, so I want to make it into a tabletop. I thought I'd better go to the effort to do a, um, a really good job. So this tabletop will then go up into my other art studio. Yes, I'm working between two art studios on our property, which lucky me, I've got sort of a clean, what I call my clean art studio. And then this is my dirty art studio where I do all the blowing a paint around. This is what I'm, I'm going to do to just sort of give myself a white coat first. I'm just gonna sponge brush some of this white chalk paint. I thought, well, you know, it's not chalk paint. What's it called? Mineral paint. So this was $10. So very, very cheap compared to buying um, you know mineral paint that's meant for furniture from the paint store or anywhere I guess it's just so I thought I've heard good reports about it from 
people using it, so you've got to give it a go. I mean, probably not using it for acrylic art, which I haven't actually tried it to pour, literally do a pour with, but for this kind of work on a tabletop, which I'm gonna resin over, it might be absolutely perfect, and I hope it is. Right here, I'm gonna just leave that aside a minute. Now, with the paint that I have got left over, not left over, that I've just mixed, I want to put a squirt of my navy blue in it, because I want to just pour it and um, sort of get like a, a poured look over it. But of course, I think I will save the actual resin uh, flakes to put in the resin. So I'll do the paint job first and the resin next. So I'm just hoping that I've got enough here for this. It's pretty thick, so I might add some more of the flow troll and, um, and I'm literally going to give it a squirt of the um, navy in this white just to try and get it like a well I, I guess I could even blow it so it's like a marbly effect probably that might work I'm not sure yet what should I do should I put the a squirt of the navy in. Oh, let's risk it for a Swiss skit. Okie doke. That should be stirred enough. Try and cut all the stirring bits out if I remember. Okie doke. Righty o. So I'm going to get some of my navy and I'm just going to squirt it in. Itching nose, I'll tell you, it must be um, a good surprise coming. So I'm going to just stir that. Ooh. Oh, it's like a kiss. Oh, look at that. Huh, that's interesting. That might make perfect um, plaid pour paint. So I'm just going to literally pour it and then tilt it. Just give it a gentle tilt now all over this lovely pine top and hope and hope Oop. just to get it covered it might look so nice like a cut stone top with this paint resin over it, it might look like um what you call it, a granite or something, bench top. I'm looking at the effects in this paint and it's coming out like a cloud pour in some areas. I'm just sorry that I'm taking it out of the camera, but just trying to get every area covered in the paint. I might have to put some more paint on it. stretch it down there now I've probably that's beautiful actually I'm just gonna put a little squirt more of paint into that bit of white that I have left and I'm going to stir it I'll pour it here again so as I can reach the other parts beautiful effect like that would be so nice for um oh, never put my gloves on and um, so nice as just a like a bench top or something once it's resined or on your kitchen bench top or on it well hopefully it's gonna look lovely on this tabletop maybe I might not want to put my chips on but I do want to do it for 
the sake of this video. Um, and also, these 60 centimeter, oh no, 60 in, is it 60 inches or? Well, it's 60 or oh, whatever it is, 60 centimeters pine round I got they're all on special at my local Kmart for like ten dollars so probably because people had complained they warp but they certainly don't warp if you do the preparation that I've just done oh look at that that would look so good now I want to <laughs> I think I want to do some more blue in there that is just gorgeous Give it a stir again. Just one gentle stir. There we go. Just that colour with that. <laughs> really effective, really nice. So I'll try and just give it some more of the blue in it. Isn't that looking so nice just on its own? Oh my goodness, I don't think I want to put the chips in it. I've got to see how this actually dries though, haven't I, to determine whether it needs covering. If not, I've got several of these boards because I bought them for 10 bucks. Um, that would look so nice as a table on its own. So I might have to go to plan B. <laughs> Well, this is quite heavy to um, tilt around actually, but it's nice. Goes with my decor too. Give the blues in. I don't want to completely lose my white, but how nice does that look? I have to recenter the paint so I haven't got it all sitting in one spot. That's pretty good. Now, I might whiz over it with my hair dryer. I mean, not my hair dryer. Loving that, loving it. I'm really dubious now about putting, um, I wanna see how it dries and I'm pretty confident that it will dry and, and not warp, but I just wanna see what, if that paint, me adding my own, re-acrylic to it what it actually um, dries like so I'll be back for next stage but that's gorgeous it's certainly not dry or anything yet but I just did some wiggles through it I know I shouldn't have but I'm happy with it and I've just actually tried it's still wet I'm just seeing what dropping a few terrazzo chips in it in, in the, the very white areas, because I really don't want to cover it all in the chips now, but I still could add more if I choose to do so when I come to resin this top. But I just thought, oh, in the white bits, just drop the chips now so they'll actually dry in the paint. And I'll just see, I'm just hoping that it doesn't wreck it, but you know, you have to try these things you have to experiment. Well, I do. So let's hope that I do the experimenting for you. But this is really, I mean, to have quite a large um, utility table top for, what did it cost me? $10 for the top. Um, I coated it with a bit of clear varnish that I already had around. So didn't pay for that. $10 for the paint, which I've only used less than half um, and the chips I think were $10 and I'm certainly only going to use minimal so uh, and then a resin I'll just do a resin top coat a thin top coat not not thick so definitely be under $40 and you would pay so much more for a custom table like this tabletop what I'm going to do is, oh, 
Um, I've already got some table legs that I'll show you uh, later. But just showing you what I'm doing now in case I make a boo-boo. But I'm sure that with the resin, actually look, it looks like a snowstorm or it looks like the oh the horrible tornado that's hitting some people in the US now which is terrible well the piece fully dried beautifully but I have to leave it before I can resin it because I've run out of resin and I've ordered some and it's going to take a month to get here so um, I think the supplies are short so you will be seeing this next time um, resined as a tabletop but it also works equally as beautifully as a wall hanging and i'm really impressed with the effect i got on this and she'll definitely do that again um, and i will be putting in more terrazzo chips when i come to resonate so watch this space or until tomorrow my lovelies bye for now thanks for joining me